Well, hey there, it's John here, and I'm back in the Eastman Discovery Lab at the Hands-On Discovery Center with another activity creation that you guys can build right at home. Because today is Buy an Instrument Day. Well, I don't have $300 to drop on a new guitar. We're gonna make one from stuff that you have at home. You could use like a Kleenex box here, but of course you have to use up all the Kleenex first. And uh, this would be perfect because it already has an opening for that uh, the resonance chamber that you need. But I'm gonna show you actually how you can make one out of just a normal recycled uh, shipping box here. Uh, you're going to want to remove the long sides, so the long flaps. Just cut that one off and snip this one off as well. Holding on to one of them, we're going to use this, recycle it as the bridge or the neck of the guitar. And we're going to tape down these side flaps so they're not like bouncing all over the place. Some duct tape, some scotch tape, whatever you have on hand works just fine. There's one side and the other. And in place of strings, we're gonna grab a handful of rubber bands. And you want to look for a variety of sizes. Some of them might be really, really long and skinny. Some of them might be kind of shorter but thicker. The differences in the rubber bands are gonna uh, be related to the sound that they make, the pitch or the tone that they make. So here, again, I have a pretty longer, thick one. Slide that right over the side carefully because if you slip up, you might lose your rubber band and send it flying. Here I have a very skinny one. Ah, let go. We're going to slide that one on. And as I said, the different sizes in rubber bands will be translated to different pitches. Because when you strum it or when you pluck a string, it will actually vibrate. It will move back and forth. And that also vibrates the air molecules around it, sending frequencies or sound waves through the air. When our eardrum picks that up, it sends that information to our brain, which translated as sounds or different notes. Again, we can use the, the uh, flap of the box here to tape on the top and we have a delightful little uh, neck of the guitar. Just fold down one end, place it on the side and slap down some tape. Now, once you've built your guitar, of course, you can decorate it, personalize it, paint it, make it look unique and individual to you. But after some practice, oh, oh, one more thing, grab a marker, because as you heard, when you slap these rubber bands, they're going to uh, hit against the sides of the flaps that we've taped down. So you can use the rubber or the marker, slide it under the string, and that's going to lift up the rubber bands so that you're not banging up against the cardboard box. Beautiful. Practice your guitar, maybe learn some scales, learn some chords, and uh, in no time at all, you are going to be a musical prodigy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, be sure to like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new video posting and uh, check out the description below where we're going to have information listed on science standards to acoustics. Ooh, that was delightful. Also in the description below, we're going to have some information on how you guys at home can help support us in keeping the music and the science alive. Right now I'm going to go practice my new uh, rubber band guitar, but uh, you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye!